Welcome back to Ministry Minute. The topic for today is, we are in the end times. Matthew 24, 2-13 says, And Jesus said unto them, See you not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and then of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. There's really nothing else to say. The word of God is coming to pass. We see all the stuff going on in Russia and Ukraine and all these different places. We see that wars and and rumors of wars are coming to pass. We're seeing that this virus is still out here. We're seeing all the hate, all the lack of love in the world. We are seeing all these things and people still question the existence of God. Friend, I'm here to tell you today. That God is real. I'm telling you wholeheartedly that God is real. And I don't have a doubt in my mind or my heart. I'm telling you, if you really looking, and a lot of people will say, well, there's a lot of gods out there. You have so many religions. All these different religions don't have this. But the truth, the word of God, the Bible, it's, it's fulfilling itself. So you... Why do you continue to wonder and question? Jesus is the way. There's no other way around it. I'm telling you, folks, Jesus is coming back soon. He has given us grace and mercy. He died on the cross so our sins, so our iniquities can be forgiven. We take his grace and mercy so for granted, me included. We got to get back to repentance, back to holiness. Be saved. Be born again. Live a holy life. Tell others about Jesus. You may be saved. You may have it right with God. But tell your family. Tell your friends. Tell as many people as you can about the goodness of Jesus. Tell them that he loves them. That he cares for them. And that he is soon to return. Why perish when you have eternal life? Why live without God when he is waiting with open arms to receive you? I'm telling you, Jesus loves you so much. Don't let time pass you by. Time is winding down. I pray we have many more years left before he returns for his church so many more can be saved. Many great things can happen. But all these Bible prophecies are fulfilling themselves. We got to get right with God. We got to repent. We got to live holy. Examine yourself. Look into your heart. Ask yourself, do I have it right? Am I ready for when Jesus comes back? Will you be left behind? If you were to die right now, would you go to hell? I'm telling you, look into yourself. Get it right. If you're hearing this, that means you still got time. Get it right today. Get it right right now. If you want to accept Jesus into your heart, I'm going to give you a chance to do it right now. Say this prayer with me. Dear God. I admit that against you and you alone I have sinned. Lord, I repent of every sin, every iniquity, and every wrongdoing. I'm wrong for those things, Lord God. Please forgive me. Please have mercy on me and deliver me. I believe what your word says, and I confess that Jesus is Lord, that he is the Son of God. And I believe that he died on the cross for the remission of my sins. That because of his blood that was shed, our sins could be forgiven. I believe that, God, you rose your son, the Lord Jesus Christ, from the grave. 
and I believe all power is in your hand. I surrender my life completely to you. And I ask that your will be done in my life. Please enter into my heart. Please be the Lord of my life and the head of my life from this day forward. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you just said that prayer from your heart or any variation of it from your heart, I want to welcome you to the family of God. I'm encouraging you to get baptized in Jesus' name. Be filled with the Holy Ghost and live a holy life. I know this ministry minute has gone past the minute part, but this message is it's needed. Spread this message. Spread the message of love that Jesus died on the cross for, your, for their sins. Tell your family, tell, tell your friends that Jesus died for them. Jesus loves you. Get it right with him today.